to show you how to cut on a Boss LS3655. So of course, the first thing that you need to do is have some kind of art that you want to cut or engrave. I am using Inkscape, which is a free vector graphics program. You can use something like Illustrator as well. And once you have your design, you want to save it as an SVG or a ping or some kind of image. And then we will hop over into the light burn software that the Boss laser uses. So you're going to go up to the file menu and go to import. Find your file and open it. And you can see we've got this little dotted representation of what we had over here in Inkscape. And you can resize this to your heart's content. This here is the bed of the laser. So you can see I have it in the front right corner-ish. And um, now I'm going to go ahead and line up the laser to this point. Scrap piece of 16th inch acrylic that I found. Now what you're going to need to do before you can cut this properly is go up to the edit menu down to device settings and over here on the z-axis control you need to enable the z-axis and this is going to allow you to bring the uh, the entire bed of the laser cutter up and down and that helps focus the laser once you enable the z you'll notice that this material thickness gauge will uh, pop up and so you can set that to the right thickness, which is about a millimeter and a half in this case. Over to the Move tab, and then hit Focus Z. And what this is going to do is just auto-calibrate where it is right now. So now you also have these frame buttons. I'll click this, and then I'll get to watch where it's going to cut. So I'm going to just move it over a little bit and then frame it again. Now we got it where we want it. Come back over to the Cut Layers tab. And you can see in my Inkscape drawing, I actually created two colors. There's, I have black and I have red. And this will automatically see the two colors and recognize them as two different layers. And you can select, so in this case, black which I have as the lettering here, and then red is the cut area. So I'm going to then configure the black layer to do fill. So this is where it's gonna just sort of raster and grave back and forth, almost like it's printing. And then line will follow the path that you specify. And once I have those set, you can double click on these and open up the settings where you can give the speed and the power of the laser. These are things that you'll have to play around with. I was just cutting some eighth inch acrylic earlier and these settings worked for me. So I found that for engraving you want to go pretty fast. 200 millimeters per second was working well at a relatively low power and um, only a single pass for engraving seems to work pretty well. So for the cutting pass, I increased the power a bit, and I slowed the speed down. I also increased the number of passes because I really want to make sure that it cuts clean through. Make sure that the chiller is on, and you have the air assist to keep the particles out of the way. Plug in the exhaust fan. And now we'll go ahead and cut it. Actually, I had to make a few adjustments. So for the settings here, I actually, for the cut, I slowed the laser down a little bit, and I, I also dropped the power a little bit to get a, a cleaner cut. Still two passes on the cut. And then, for whatever reason, even though this the material yeah, measured, it's about two millimeters thick, the, um, the laser head would keep knocking into it and pushing it, unless I put at least four and a half millimeters. So that's what it is for okay, now. So now we'll make our cut on a cleaner spot here. So here's what it looks like when it comes straight out. You can see that there's kind of a little bit of 
plastic fog on there. This one, I did exactly the same thing with, and the only difference here is I just scraped this off with my fingernail. So, I mean, sometimes that's all that's necessary. So that, just with my fingernail, that's looking a little bit better. Um, and I think it would look even better if we polished it. So I'm noticing that there's actually still a little bit of um, un unclean edges around here. And I think that's probably a result of even still having the engraving laser power a little bit too high. So if you take a crayon and then go over the part that you engraved, it'll fill it in with wax and just wipe it off. And that just looks very nice and crisp. This is very much a learning process with a lot of trial and error, just testing different settings and finding what works for different materials and always make sure that you write down when you finally get it.